Oh, that's not true. That you want to make what? The next one is what? <laughs> you. That you want to? I asked the question. The next one is. Where is she? Die? You see where? She you sleep on opposite sides of the bed. Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, back with another video. It's your boy Gerald, the realest YouTuber on YouTube. That's my new name down now. Introduce yourself. Why don't you introduce me? This is my GF. Apparently she doesn't like when I call her that. This is my girlfriend. GF. Yeah, GF. It's two letters. Babe. It's quick. It's quick and easy. This is my GF. Two syllables. GF. Vanessa. This is my GF. Okay, one less. Three, exactly. All right, what's up, you guys? This is my girlfriend, Vanessa. If you're not familiar with her, then go to my Q&A, man, because I posted two Q&As with her, and they were pretty hella cute, if you ask me. YouTube's going to demonetize me for saying hella. So on today's video... <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. On today's video, we're going to be reading a very interesting Cosmopolitan article that's on Snapchat. So if you got Snapchat, then you know they got that little Discover page. And Cosmo's articles are just trash on there. Because I, I did a video about a trash Cosmo article like a month ago that, like, go, go watch that if you haven't. This Cosmo article is called... What your sleep position says about your relationship. I don't know if there's anything that your sleep position says about your relationship. So, automatically, this is some BS in this Cosmo article. So, I mean, let, let's just find out. Wait, wait, wait. First of all, I said says Patty Wood, a body language expert with more than 30 years of experience, analyzes what eight different sleeping positions mean. The first one is, you're the big spoon. And it means I'm protective of you. Duh! But it has the Barbie spooning Ken, so it means I'm protective of you. This means you're protective of your partner and maybe even a bit possessive. 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 Says okay. I'm Hispanic. Don't tell him your race. I can't pronounce my S's correctly. We're we're over here. <laughs> we're trying to be a mystery. Pus nah. Okay. <laughs> this says that you're protective of your partner and maybe even a bit possessive. I guess. No. Duh. We. I mean, we don't sleep like this. I'm saying like what. But you're protective of me regardless of this. I don't care about what happens to you. This is awkward. Okay. You spoon a few inches apart. I've got your back. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait. New couples tend to have the most physical contact in bed. But when the novelty of bed sharing wears off, it's common to revert to the position that makes you feel most comfortable and produce the best quality of sleep. That means spooning a few inches apart. It's like the boot... The, blah, 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 blah. It's like the big spoon saying, I've got your back, you can count on me. I'm gonna leave that in there. Your partner cradles your head on his chest. Oh, that's how we sleep. Don't tell... No, they know we don't. That's how we sleep. No, we don't. Yes, it is. We, we sleep in separate beds. <laughs> You're right. Because that's unholy. That means I depend on you. A face-up sleeping position indicates confidence and self-assurance. When your partner sleeps on his back with your head in his arms, it means I have the power and I'm using it to protect you. You already know. You already know, boy. Well, we I sleep got on the power. Beds. Cue the song, no. editor guy. <laughs> I'm the editor guy. I do all the work around here. Wait, when you in turn face your partner in a fetal position. Wait, cue the music editor guy again. Listen to me. I got the power. Alright. It shows you depend on him. If you sleep with your head on his chest and the rest of your body is sprawled out, it sends the message that you want to make... Oh, that's not true. That you want to make what? The next one is... What?! <laughs> you... <laughs> that you want to ma I asked the question! But that doesn't... Okay. The next one is... Where is she die? You see where she... <laughs> You sleep on opposite sides of the bed. What kind of couple sleeps on opposite sides of the bed? Unless I'm mad at you, and I don't want to kick you out. Then I'm, bitch sleep in your corner. I'm still curious about what you d bypassed in oh, the previous- that means I need space. I think everybody knows that. Okay. Right? I need space right now. <laughs> <laughs> this says you're independent and have a desire to be more separate. You don't need an expert to know that. True. That, that this means so I need space. So they say that. Yeah, that's obviously you need space. Right. It could be- <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It could be because your We're partner- wait. <laughs> wait. We're here. No one's, no one's got it. It could be because your partner has sharp toenails, kicks in his sleeps, or moves around too much. That's hella specific. 
who who has this girl? My toenail's not sharp, so I don't know what you're talking about. You're laughing too, you get laughing too. How hard. ridiculous is this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so not what I said. No. Okay. <laughs> you sleep facing away from each other with your butts touching. Look at this. Look at this <laughs> picture. They don't even have room to look at the picture. We all close this up. No, nah, well, it's okay. I mean, no, no, no. Chill, 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 okay. chill, chill. It's okay. Baby, I look You're taller gonna... than you. I know. I mean, that's okay. I guess. Hold we're on, just bitch. Reflecting real life. I got. What's up, guys? It's me in a taller seat position. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Look at this ridiculous picture. Who sleeps like this with your butts barely touching? You Kay. sleep facing away from each other with your butts touching means I need space, but not from you. Cosmos trash. This suggests that you're a confident couple that appreciates your own space. Cosmo trash. Cosmo is trash. This position could mean you're sick and tired of your partner snoring. What? Does you touching their butt stop their snoring? Don't talk while I'm yawning. I'm obviously going to cut this part out. Yeah, uh, I didn't cut it out. <laughs> Say it again. I'm just saying. Does you touching their butt stop their snoring? Right. You automatically, like, all of a sudden can't hear their snoring. Next one. Can we point out how they really set up Barbie and Ken dolls, right? like, to, to, to animate their trash article? Cosmo trash. Cosmo is trash. Okay, you sleep with nothing touching but your feet or legs. What does that mean? Tell us. It means I need attention. If you need attention, roll over and talk to it. What, the, <laughs> what kind of passive-aggressive crap is this? You guys notice me saying crap? I'm trying to censor myself because, you know, YouTube's, like, hard on the curse words and stuff. <laughs> just get money though. <laughs> you sleep with your legs and arms totally. Oh wait, that's us. Don't tell him. There's two. That's us, babe. I don't recall. Entwined. With you. Okay, you sleep with your legs and arms totally entwined. This means I can't get enough of you. When you sleep with arms and legs tangled, it's a sign that you can't get enough of each other, even while you're asleep. It means that your lives are intertwined, that you function as a pair. You probably finish each other's sentences and take care of each other. That's us. If you want to lie, tell everybody that that's us. You're right. No, it's that's us. No, chill, chill though. We don't I'm even touch our butts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ready? Next one. You sleep different distances from the headboard. <laughs> what the? What? She looks dead. It's a doll. Oh. That means we're on different pages. <laughs> That's pretty obvious. Who wrote this? How long is this article? Okay, we're on the last one. Oh. But that just means that whoever sleeps closer to the headboard, meaning Ken in this instance, feels more dominant. Or, or Kenneth. If you don't, I mean, you're not friends with him. Okay. He probably goes by Kenneth. Okay, babe. His, his inner circle of friends probably called mm -hmm. him Kenneth. You, okay? You struggle in there? You good? All I know is his name's Kenneth, okay? okay? They tend to feel more dominant and confident, while those who place their heads further away are more subservient and have lower self-esteem. Damn. That's it. That's the article? Who wrote this, bro? I'll tell you. It's not Hannah Smothers. Sc but it might as well have been. Up. Oh. Elizabeth Naren. That's Elizabeth Naren's has never slept with a man in her life. Well, hold on. It is by her, but Patty Wood, the body language expert with more than 30 years of experience, analyzed these positions for us. So it's both of them. That's a bunch of BS. Anyways, guys, that's all we got for today's video. So if you enjoyed it, leave us a thumbs up, or me a thumbs up, or her a thumbs up. Either one, your thumbs up goes towards a good cause. But if you want to see us, if you, <laughs> but if you want to see us read more Cosmo articles, because they're all trash, you know what I'm saying? Leave us a comment down below. Also, if you made it to this point in the video, you know, because you watched the entire thing and you're super real and you're not fake and stopped halfway through, comment Cosmo is trash down below. Cause, That's a good one. Because Cosmo, oh. That's a good one. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blushing. Very creative. I'm creative, yeah. Comment. <laughs> now you're making me feel like it's not good. Uh, you're making me nervous. Stop. I don't know what to say. Why do you have to be so beautiful? It's good. It's good. It's wow. Good. Comment. It's good. Okay. Don't change it. Comment Cosmo is trash down below. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for today. My name's Michael. Ta-ta for now. And if you're a returning subscriber, man, you already know how the outro goes. That shit go. Ooh. Ooh.
One, two, hey, ya, ooh. I wish I could do it with you. Ooh, ooh, cookie, ya! Yeah. Yeah.